हेलो इंजीनियर्स कैसे हो आप सब होपली वर्बल आई एम ऑल्सो फाइन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अलर्ट अलर्ट पॉप अप एंड द एज वेल एज वी विल कवर अनदर पॉप अप लाइक द फ्रेम आई फ्रेम हाउ टू हैंडल द फ्रेम आल्सो सो लेट्स गो विद अलर्ट सो लेट्स गो विद द रियल सिनेरियो सम टाइम यू हैव सीन द व्हेन वी आर नेविगेशन बैक और फॉरवर्ड और द वी आर रिडायरेक्ट टू द अनदर एप्लीकेशन अनदर वेबसाइट दैट द मोमेंट वी आर गेटिंग द अलर्ट पॉप अप फ्रॉम द क्रोम ब्राउजर और द एज वेल एज द सेम वेबसाइट ब्राउजर ऑल्सो कि यू आर स्टे यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे ऑफ द सेम और यू वॉन्ट टू रिडायरेक्ट ऑन द अदर दिस काइंड ऑफ द पॉप अप इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैंडल सो और द बेसिक थिंग वी जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर द हैंडलिंग विद दिस काइंड ऑफ द पॉप अप सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट हाउ वी विल हैंडल सो अलर्ट पॉप अप When you interact with the web application, sometimes small window message box appear to inform ask for confirmation. There is the some like simple alert, so as a confirmation message, or uh, then confirmation alert like ask for the OK cancel button. Then prompt alert a sub text input for the user. Authentication pop up like the we need to enter the username and password. Or uh, custom HTML pop up there is another thing. Then go with the handling alert in the Selenium. Selenium provide the special alert interface in the packages. Ah, uh, there is the separate packages we have need to uh, write in the code. Then we can go with the alert function alert alert equal to driver dot switch to alert so now we can interact with the alert using alert object method then alert method is what um, there is a package first we have need to initialize all the written write in the code the packages then we can use this function and once you can initialize this the function and the switch to alert uh, then we can uh, use the all the alert functions alert dot accept alert dot dismiss alert dot accept like click ok button and alert second First, we are going uh, this method. Alert accept. We are accepting the alert and alert dismiss. Like we are canceling the alert. Alert get text. Like we are getting the text from the alert. And send case. We are providing the send case like that. So this is the handling the each type of alert. Uh, let's suppose this is the Chrome driver and this is the URL which we are heading. Uh, let's suppose confirmation alert. I will show you the something. Bro. I think I have written the some code not here. Let's uh, need to skip so far. I'm just cancel out this one, and uh, okay. And now need to cancel out. Give me a moment. Let me go to the main notes. There is only one function, right? So two, 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 two. So need to everything is closed now. Then what we have need to do? We have need to initialize the one another function kind of this. <coughs> See guys, I have already written this uh, uh, function like the maximizing the. Then this is the URL with hit. Yes, and then what we are going to we this is the element we are initializing with the click, and this is the one by one. Then confirmation alert. Ah, uh, this is the simple alert. Then is the confirmation alert and the prompt alert. What we are getting? We are getting alert dot get text. We are getting the color text, and this is the function which we are getting. Ah, uh, we are doing here the using the directly function alert dot accept, alert dot dismiss, alert dot accept. Three type of all type of the function which we are using here. So let's go start without wasting time also. So Give me a moment, guys. I think you will not be able to see it there. Then the dot. Two seconds. Come in a break, dear. clicking on the button and i am alert box okay okay and we are please enter your name yeah then what we are doing here we are just the function we have used here and we are get text from the alert to text alert to text it we are returning the text from here and we are sleep and then we are directly accept this is the alert that is we just accept confirmation alert here we are alert to dismiss like we are uh, cancelling that one and this is the method which we are using okay or cancel 
and then then we are getting another like confirmation okay and alert driver dot alert and we are alert dot asset we are getting then we are clicking on the just give me a moment i just show you guys see guys this is the website which we have for this is the alert okay click on the display this is the okay alert then click on this one click on this one then this one is get express button okay or cancel okay then click on this one and click on this one and this one is here and we have click okay this is the way it would we have done the script and one more thing and alert to send key if we are clearing alert dot send key no alert dot clear there is no Printing here. Let's suppose if this one is here, if I just but if I'm printing here, the load dot send key, this one it should be like that, you know. Let's see, run once again. Okay. Now it will click. Okay. It should be fair, no? Let's script quit kar de raha hai. Hmm, yes. Hello, Koval. How are you today? This is thing I was looking for. Yeah. So it is sending the data also. It is fine we can see it is also so this is the way we are handling the alert let's go without wasting our time in the next point we are handling authentication also some kind of the alerts so this is the basic which we have done so far uh, i think it is not much required yes how to verify alert is present sometimes the alert appear dynamically you don't want uh, to wait for that no alert present exception so you, you should go with the try catch alert alert the function directly you can first of all you import the package then you can use directly function alert alert driver dot switch to alert so then uh, first of all we create the object in reference of the alert window uh, this is the object we are creating then we are using the uh, function then you go with the try or catch no alert present exception then useful interview questions like what is the alert in the selection? A small JavaScript pop-up message that block normal interaction until handled. How to switch control to the alert? Driver dot switch to alert. Uh, we create the object in reference of the Selenium alert window. Yeah, uh, we can say the window alert, uh, Selenium window alert in reference of the window alert. And go a difference between the accept and dismiss. Accept for the okay, dismiss for cancel. How to handle prompt alert? Use can send keys to the text and accept. Can Selenium handle window authentication pop up? Yes, by passing credential in URL. What exception is through if alert not present? Not alert present exception. Time now uh, common exception like no alert present exception. Try to switch to alert before it appear. Add bait or try catch. Unhandled, unhandled alert exception like try to interact with package before closing alert. Always handle alert first. Element not interactable exception. Element behind pop up. Close alert then continue. Real time use cases. Scenario will be like form summation, delete confirmation. This kind of the alert we uh, we get. Mm. <coughs> wait for the alert. Uh, we use the explicitly wait for the uh, for the alert or handle to alert. Then we accept that. Then going forward with the next topic is the iframe. Iframe. First of all, you have need to we have need to understand iframe. Okay. So let's. I am written the. See guys, this is the website which I find out for the iframe. Uh, this is the same website. Uh, 
I will tell you guys one more thing. If you are you want to enhance your automation skills, so you please uh, uh will mention in the uh, thing. Uh, you can uh demo automation uh testing dot in. This is the website you can use for the automation perspective. As well as guys, I will uh, suggest you please uh, try to automate more and more things on this website. See, this is the uh, application or the default content, and this is the iframe content, and this is the value which we will put here. And then we click on this one. It is the um, redirect on the another page. Right? So we don't need for that. So main is the here yeah, the nested iframe frame and demo kind of the things. Uh, this is the uh, frame or this is the content. This is the single frame and this is the within the frame nested frame or frame demo this is the uh, frame handling how you will handle the let's suppose in your application there are the so many boxes of the frame in the home page or the uh, within the application how you will handle so let's we will discuss this is the ui which we have tell you uh, yeah frame Frame stands for the inline frame and HTML document embedded within another HTML document. It acts like the Cecil React page inside the main page. Selenium can only interact with one frame at a time, so you need to switch to desire uh, frame before the uh, accessing it elements. Why frame are used to embed a video map or advertisement inside a web page to load independent content like login page or without refreshing the main page. To isolate specific content like the dashboard and the chat window so let's sorry guys i missed something why frame are used for the some uh, video advertisement we use the frame for this so in kind of the scenario we have need to handle on the automation so we use the frame the outer page the main document or inner frame loaded another html page so there is the two thing one is the dome and uh, inside the dome you have another frame problem if you try to locate an element inside the iframe directly selenium through no such element exception because the driver is still focused on the main document not a frame so for this situation we have need to use the driver to switch to the frame frame zero frame one frame two in that way frame zero frame one uh, index starting from the zero use this when you know the frame order but not its id or name because in the web page layout the changes index number might break your script like driver dot switch to frame my frame like this is the name attribute in your dome then you find out then you will see first you ensure in the dome then you check okay then you can slice or script will work then driver dot switch to frame frame one explain so use the frame name or id attribute for the html prefer this is the most stable and reliable approach if id or name is available for web element, you have need to slice the web element and use the uh, frame uh, object of the first of all you will slice the uh, frame uh, i frame or the frame uh, object in reference of the window or the dome you have need to initialize the object then then you can use the function directly then locate the frame element first then switching the web element where's the dynamic driver dot switch to this is the directly we will use driver dot switch to default content we will use directly default this is uh, we are going with the Frame frame element frame element this one we have initialized we are in looking here and then switching back to main page time to switch to default content yes switch back to the main page from any frame switches to parent frame uh, if frame are nested frame inside another frame then we go with the driver dot switch to parent frame we directly use this uh, functions then nested frame inside the frame then switch to frame outer frame frame with the name directly then we will go with the help default so this is the basic thing you have need to understand so let's i will show you the code for that case also give me a moment if anything is missing yeah there is the one best practices uh, always switch to the frame before the locating element inside it always switch back using default content after performing actions prefer using web element or name id over index for reliability keep frame handling in the utility method for reusable script Let's I will show you the frame I frame nested code. So see guys what I have written for you. This is the web driver. This is the web driver. This is the maximize and this is the URL which we are hitting on the web drive uh, browser. And now what is the web element single frame? This is the switching the single frame to locating I frame web element. Switching to single frame while locating I frame web element. So this is the iframe web element x path which we have created and and we are switching driver dot this is the variable uh, this is the x path we have initialized then we are using the function driver dot switch to frame single frame directly with the function and with this variable uh, this is the web element sorry and then what we are going to we are providing the send key inside the frame then we are switching to back to default content then we are printing on the console then we are waiting for the two seconds and then quick let's see and control alt x
we should pull it down there. Hello frame. Then text entered inside the frame successfully. So guys, this is the same way you can perform uh, multiple nested and at the inside the frame. So this is everything similar. We don't have any difficulties, the, the same thing. So if you face anything regarding the two topics, so let me know. I will try to help out if you are uh, stuck anywhere. So guys, yeah, one more thing I just want to. This is the website you can use for the uh, demo automation testing dot in this is the best ever website you can perform whatever you want to be honest you can perform whatever you want uh, please uh, 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 write it down somewhere or the, just use this website and you try out all the scenarios which we have covered so far so thank you for watching my video and thank you so much so far